particularly when you're drawing the nose. It seems to be pretty challenging for a lot of people because there aren't any hard lines. So what I like to do for areas like that before I start shading in charcoal is kind of drawing out the lines of the planes that I see. Now I'm erasing all the grid lines once I have everything in its proper place so that they don't imprint too long on the paper. What I'm going to do first is use this fine charcoal to do kind of a base layer. It's mostly just about like making it feel like it's a form versus just a flat drawing. And another thing is, is that people always think that the whites of your eyes are actually always white. So when people that are first starting out draw portraits, they'll leave the whites of their eyes completely white, but if you actually look at them, you need it so it's not just white. The best thing about using toned paper too, um, although I do love using charcoal just on nice white paper, is that you can get so much more of a range of value because you get to use not only the values that you have within charcoal, but you also get to use this bright, bright white highlight for like the whitest whites that you're working with. I just can't really imagine myself doing anything else. It's like cathartic. It's something that I can always do and feel comfort. The hardest thing is that you critique yourself constantly and you never really think a piece is finished. Um, I have some of my favorite pieces that I've done before that I absolutely love and I think that they're great pieces, but I still always see something that's wrong with it or something that I could fix after the fact. So that's probably the most frustrating part. The best part is that I don't have to think about anything when I'm doing this. I can just do it and then it makes people happy, for, especially for commissions, for portraits and things like that. Um, the reaction that I get from whoever commissioned it is always really rewarding to see. But another thing that people don't really think of, if you're working from a photo, it's so important to have a high quality photograph or not even necessarily a high quality photo, but a photo that has good lighting in it. Because if there's not any shadows anywhere, then there's really nothing to work with and it won't look like what you want it to look like. So using a good, well lit and well detailed reference photo is really super key in terms of making a portrait of an animal or a person that you want it to look like the actual person. So I always start, okay, well if I'm spray painting, I'll start in the center and then I'll move outwards because that way I can make sure I'm getting all my proportions right in a face. Because um, if I do the eyes, then I can like measure the eyes and relate like how far they are away from certain features and measure it that way. Um, but if I'm drawing, just because of the fact that this happens with your hand where you get all this charcoal on it as you as you work on it, I like to start on the left and knock everything out going towards the right so that I don't, don't do this first and then go draw over here and then smudge everything under my hand. Okay, I'm done.